the next morning because we had the new baby. Father, we fought baptized the new baby. And in Salvador, of course, uh, after the Savior, because it's the night of the Savior's birth when was born Salvador the night. And baptized him and gave him the name and then said the Mass. And then he gave the, the talk, you know, two hours. He told us we were going to hell because, because we had drunkenness on the cop that night. Well, I said, Father, if we were going to hell, we were going to get the California first. <laughs> and so on, you know, the Monday morning, just in two hours, and we were over the top. And then we dropped down so fast, you know, and away from the snow. And then we were at San Gabriel. And then we brought the people to Monterey. And then, you know, Rivera, he was here. Well, he was the commander of the troops in California then, but was acting for the governor. Fernando Rivera, do you remember him? Well, it's a good thing, you know, you don't talk, you don't talk Spanish, and it's a good thing you don't remember him, because he's, he's a lot worse than I am, but even his father fought, he even decided with me when it comes to Rivera. But Rivera had the same orders as me. When Anza gets there to California with the peoples, Rivera, you and Anza, you're supposed to go and find the best place to put the Presidio and the missions on the Rio San Francisco. But he was mad. I, and, and he was mad, I think, because, you know, he's been a soldier longer than me. He's an older man than me. He was mad because I'm a tenant, uh, well, at that time, I, now, I, now I am a colonel, right? but then I was a, a lieutenant colonel at that time. Now I am a colonel. But then I was a lieutenant colonel, and so I had more rank than he did. And, and then I got the commission to bring the people. So I think he, he was mad with me because of that. But he wouldn't come from San Diego. I kept waiting over at Monterey. I kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And he didn't come. And finally I said, well, I have to carry out my orders because we're going to go find out where we're going to put the proceeding in San Francisco. And so I took Padre Font and we brought eight soldiers. And we came up to the, right up to where the bay goes out on the ocean. Have you been over there? Ah, you can't believe. I never, I told you, I never saw it. I couldn't believe there was that much water in the whole world. But over here's the ocean. Over here's this bay. So big. You could put all the ships in Spain. You could put all the ships on the whole world on this bay. And then one person standing on that rock right there can almost take a rock and hit the other side with one gun. We're going to keep anybody from coming onto the bay. Ah, you, I can't believe how beautiful that was. And then we came back around and decided, okay, back in this cove, where the wind not blowing so hard, and there was water, and there was wood for fires, and wood for making the palisades for the, for the fort, this is where we're going to put the Presidio. And then we went and we found a place to put the mission. And then I, we wanted to find, because you know, you can look from here, and you can see the Sierra up there, it's covered with the snow, we call it the Sierra Nevada, because it's covered with snow. We can see it there. You know, when we first started, they thought that the, the Rio San Francisco must come from the Rocky Mountains, eh? but it's not. It's come from another another Sierra, and we could see it. And so I wanted to follow the river back over there. But we're coming around this bay, you know, and you can't get across the river. And so we tried to get back around and go around the bay. And every time I start to head back to the to the east, and I think, well, we'll be able to follow the river now. Then pretty soon it's all Sienna again. It's just all meadows and wet and marsh, and you just get all mixed up over there. It's mud. And then we'd have to come back and go around again. So I never did get to follow the river over to the Sierra Nevada. What we did is just go around the bay over here. And I think one day, one day it's going to be a big problem here. And it's all going to start from those few people that we brought. Huh? That's a lot of talking. You got any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Did the baby live? Yeah. All the babies lived. All eight that were born on the way lived. I heard some years later that the one whose mama died, because we left that one down at San Gabriel, that family stayed at San Gabriel, and I heard that baby died when maybe had 11 months or something. I, I, but I don't know. You better you better ask somebody else. But I, I did hear that. But I think all the rest of them, all of them grew up. All eight of them, or all seven of them. And that one, unless I heard wrong, I, I think it died when it was pretty young, but I wasn't here. So. What else we got that question? Yes? Um, how many families did you say that came here? Well, I think, if I remember, we had 28 all together. And, and was one of them um, the San Lorenzo family? 
The who? The the San Lorenzo family, the states that are Baptistas and the Estadillos and any of those families? I don't I don't remember those uh, the heroes or surnames, no. Do you remember Peralta? Oh Peralta, he was Peralta he was, he was a cowboy, he was he was a corporal. Your corporal? Yeah. Oh I, I yeah, but uh, Peralta, I grew up with Peralta. Well he was younger than me, but uh, not too much. Do you remember Luis Maria Peralta? Well, of course. He was a young man. No? He, was a, he was a boy. A boy? Yes, yes. Why, oh, you know him? Well, <laughs> <laughs> somehow, you know, because I'm a dolphin in the house. Uh -huh. yeah. But um, what about... Yeah, somebody told me they built this house after we left, huh? That's that is, the brothers built this house? Yeah, yeah. 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 And the Vallejos? The who? The Vallejos. Vallejo? No, there's nobody named Vallejo came with us, but, but other people... Vallejo, huh? Vallejo. Vallejo, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it didn't come with me, but... Uh, this is the roll call. It did what? This is the roll call. Is the roll call? Yeah, from the answer, from the Los California. Well, uh, if that, that's everybody, maybe you can tell the names, but you know, it's been 10 years since oh, I was... No, 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 there's no Vallejo. No. Um, you got a question. Was it 28 families that started the Presidio? Again, you know, you got to remember, I brought them here and then I left. But, but I know we left some in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And we left some at, the, at San Gabriel. And we brought some over here. And it was Augusto. See, I was here in, 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 in March, in March, in April. And, and then I left. And I know because Moraga wrote for me, to, wrote to me sometimes. And I know he told me in August he brought the people who were here at Monterey, brought them, but it wasn't everybody. Because they were to be soldiers. We, we recruited these men to be soldiers in California. And so all of them were at the Presidio at San Francisco. Some were, some were stayed in San Diego, some in San Gabriel. But I, th I, I don't know because I wasn't here, but I think they, they went wherever. And so if somebody in San Diego was needed over here, I, I've been living in the military all my life, I'm sure they sent them over here to San Francisco if they needed to. How many actually got to the San Francisco? But again, that was Moraga that took them there. I brought them to Montenegro. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you the numbers because, well, I know, I know Grijalva, we, we left some, because, you know, there's been a, what was that word again, the Summer of the Summer of the Summer a revolt. There was a revolt in San Diego, and we tried to help put down that revolt, and, and that's when Rivera and I first didn't get home. And so we left some soldiers there, and, and then we had a, a, some soldiers desert, and I sent Moraga to bring them back. And so I don't remember the exact number when we got here, but it was probably there were probably 30 or 40 people that never never came with us at that time, and then they came later. Yes, sir. Uh, how was your relationship with the indigenous people that lived here before you got here? How did that work out? How was my? Yeah, or did you have contact with them? Oh, all, all the time, all the time. Okay. Yes, we, very different. The, the Indians, you talk yeah, about the, the Indians, Indians yeah. you know, they're very, very different. You know, the Indians over here are big and, and very light skinned. Some of them got the beards, like you. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but but I never saw that. All the Indians where I come from, very dark, you know, and they don't have the beers. But no, they they were very very kind to us. They they gave it because everybody over here understands water. I'm a desert man, but they bring the fish for us to eat, and it, it was good. And we we met a lot of, and, and it seemed like there's hundreds. I don't know that they all talk different languages. There's a lot of, a lot of Indians over here, but but very different all the way. You know, the human Indians, they're the biggest ones I ever saw. But they're very dark, you know. And over here you have big ones, and they got hair on the face, and they're, they're white. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, I, I, I don't you know. I just came and I brought the people and I left, but, uh, and I don't know since then, maybe uh, whether well, there's been good or bad, or I don't know. I, well, I hope they've been treating each other good. Yes. So your route, was it? Through Mexico, up through Arizona, and to California, that way? I left, exactly I left Ciudad route? de Mexico, uh -huh. and I came north to Culiacan, uh -huh. through Sinaloa, through Sonora, to back, you know where it's Tucson? 
came from Tucson and followed, followed the, the Rio Santa Cruz to the Rio Gila, followed the Rio Gila over to the Colorado, and then we went down to the south around the Medanos, down towards Baja California, and then back. That's that what you're asking me? Well, it sounds like you went up and down, up and down, up and down. No, no. Well, mostly it's desert, so it's not too much up and down. <laughs> but you have some mountains. You know. North and south. Well, north and south, and south, and south no, yeah. north. north. Well, you go north, but you got to come. You got to come west too. So you went to Colorado, and you went down to Boston. No, no, no. no. I said the oh. real Colorado. Oh. Oh. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna get out of character here because she, she wants to be a this. This is the time to do it. Some some questions you can ask in character or answer in character, and some you can't. I can't tell you about Colorado because that's something that wasn't even existent. But there was a river called the Colorado oh, River. Okay, that was and the Colorado River, where the Yuma Indians lived, is what is today Yuma, Arizona. Okay. So we were coming west when we got to the Colorado, it wasn't it? So we had you a little confused there. I'm sorry about that. All right, now let's be sure I'm going to the 21st century. Question. He goes, it's a little confusing. Uh, when you talk about Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico, New Spanish. And we have that. The Dianz expedition originated in Mexico, but the whole expedition came from Arizona, what is called the New Spain, that it was the three states, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico. How do you present All right, this? all right. And then this is why you've got to answer these questions in the 21st century. <laughs> because everything was New Spain then. Yes. Okay. Mexico was a city. So when you say they came from Mexico, some of us, because I was in Mexico, we're talking about a city, when right. you're talking about that, Mexico as a state did not exist, as a nation did not exist. Mm -hmm. It was all New Spain. Okay. California was part of New Spain. It was all New Spain. Now you had jurist, or you had them, what's the word I want to say? Uh, well, yeah. after the Alamo, there were a territorial division. Yeah. Well, but but you're, you're coming too far. Let me start at the beginning. Let, let's start with New Spain. Okay. When, when Spain was in charge, there was a new Spain. It took in what is today Mexico, Texas, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, all of that was new Spain. Then you had various divisions within those, uh, governmental divisions. So you had like provinces within new Spain. Sonora was one of them. Sonora took in what is today Arizona. Okay. New Mexico took in what is today New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Sinaloa was, it was and is the, the, the entity below Sonora. Was it? Yeah. All, all of Sonora, Sinaloa, Chihuahua, Coila, all of that was originally called New Vizcaya, Nueva Vizcaya, because the Vascos moved in there and settled it, the guy named Francisco Ibarra, and he called it New Vizcaya, made his capital Durango after where he'd come from.